welcome to our new lesson about uh, cyber grooming. Cyber grooming or child grooming uh, refers uh, to the conduct of a person who is trying to manipulate a victim and force them into meeting in person. Uh, the meeting can result in sexual assault of the victim, exploitation uh, for child prostitution, or for example, uh, physical torture, uh, exploitation of the child for terrorism, etc. Uh, the asylum communicates uh, with the victim mainly via chat or Skype, Messenger, Snapchat, text messages or social networks, uh, for example, Facebook. This exercise uh, you see on the screen, it's about uh, sexual offenders. So uh, you have uh, five photos and your goal is to find who is uh, the offender. And if you look on the screen, you see many, many various uh, types of faces. And uh, you can try to answer who is the sex offender. One of them is real sex offender uh, who was sentenced uh, for two years in prison for sexual assaults uh, uh, on uh, girls uh, on the internet. So, if you look on, on, the, on the screen, we see numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And uh, I give you an answer. The real is number 2. But uh, this exercise is focused on the understanding of uh, the problem uh, that uh, appearance, uh, appearance doesn't matter. Abuser can be beautiful or ugly, so if we look on the profiles uh, on the social networks, for example, on the Facebook, uh, uh, it doesn't depend on the face who is the person in real. So if you look on the screen, uh, on the real faces of real offenders, on this slide you see real sexual offenders or predators, uh, which were uh, sentenced uh, for, for the crime uh, connected with sexual assault uh, on, on a child in the uh, online world. Who are the asylums? Cyber asylums uh, form a heterogeneous group uh, users with low and high social status. If you look on the age, uh, it's uh, from, from 17 to 70. There is a myth about age that uh, sexual offenders are elderly people. It's just a myth because we have many abusers in the age uh, 20, 20 years. In uh, many cases, the uh, victim uh, knows uh, they are a silent. Uh, uh, it's it's um, maybe someone from from family, from a group around the family. So uh, there are not unknown uh, people. Uh, many asylums were di diagnosed uh, with uh, pathological interest in children. Ten percent uh, are pedophile, and the rest are hebophile or ephebophile. Cyber groomers see relationships with children as less threatening, they feel more secure uh, in such relationships uh, than in relationships with uh, adults, yeah? And now the diagnosis, uh, pedophile, uh, it's, it's a kind of myth that uh, if we look on a, a sexual assaulters or sexual offenders uh, uh, that they are pedophile. Uh, Pedophile uh, focuses on a children aged uh, 5 uh, to 12 uh, uh, and this is roused by childhood uh, behavioral manifestations, uh, undeveloped uh, secondary sexual characteristic. And uh, pedophile has the desire to teach children new things. But another group, it's, it's a hippophile or ephibophile, uh, it's a sexual preference disorder. Uh, focused on adolescents, girls and boys with uh, fully uh, developed secondary sexual characteristic. So, uh, biologically uh, developed victims. And uh, hippophile or uh, ephibophile is attracted uh, by uh, pubescents and teenagers. So, there are some groups of, of hippophile as you see on the screen, but the myth is that the most of, of uh, offenders are uh, pedophiles. Now something about uh, victim. Who are the victims and uh, if we can uh, find some, some specialities in, in this group. Uh, most often the victims are children and young people aged uh, 
um, 11 to 17 uh, more often uh, girls than boys. The victims spent uh, a lot of free time in uh, online communication environments. Most, uh, most frequent uh, victims are, for example, uh, children with uh, low uh, self-esteem or lack of confidence, uh, children with emotional problems, uh, victims uh, in, in a need, uh, naive and hourly trusting children, uh, adolescents or teenagers who are looking for information about uh, sex, and, for example, also children from rich families. Uh, they have a lot of money and everything, but uh, uh, they don't have a good relationship with, uh, with parents and are looking uh, for, uh, for it uh, in online environment. Duration of manipulating the victim. Uh, if you look on the duration or, or on the time, uh, how long the child is uh, ma manipulated, so mental manipulation uh, takes longer, from, from one to three months for several years. And the uh, uh, duration of the manipulation is often uh, dependent uh, on when the victim reaches the age of majority. Uh, later in this presentation we find, uh, find cases where the asylum uh, waits for fear of hard sentences until the victim reaches uh, the age of majority uh, and then they met in person and the victim was sexually abused. So sometimes uh, it's about waiting on, on the right, right uh, age uh, of, of uh, the victim or of the child. In uh, 2017 we made a research focused on uh, sexting and also on uh, uh, personal meetings uh, of children with strangers uh, from uh, the internet. So uh, we have uh, some questions in our research and one of the questions was uh, have you ever been invited uh, uh, by your internet friend to meet in the real world? And if you look on the data set or on, on the bars uh, you see that uh, about 30% of children answered yes. 67% uh, of, of children uh, answered no. And uh, so we, we know that, that the children are contacting with strangers uh, uh, by, by many people from the internet, from the social networks, uh, but it's necessary to understand that uh, uh, the children uh, themselves also invite uh, their internet friends to personal meetings in the real world. 20% uh, of children confirm that uh, they have invited uh, their internet boyfriend or girlfriend uh, to a personal meeting. So if we speak about strangers, about someone unknown from the internet, uh, often uh, these people are also children, not just uh, adult people. So it's important to understand of, of this problem that we don't know who is com communicating with children in the, in the uh, most uh, situations. Now uh, we will concentrate on the process of manipulation and on the stages of uh, manipulation. Uh, first stage of contact or of uh, manipulation of children, uh, the manipulation is focused on, on a meeting in the real world. So first stage is uh, preparing to make contact and the most of users which uh, want to manipulate the child uh, have uh, false identity. Uh, it's, it's a characteristic feature of this stage. Uh, Asylant uh, has uh, one or more uh, fake profiles and these profiles are used for communication uh, with, uh, with the child. If you look on the online identity of the asylant, uh, there are two, two main parts or two main forms of identity. Uh, static identi identity, uh, the asylant works uh, with one identity, or uh, dynamic. Uh, the asylant modifies the identity uh, according to the victim. So uh, there is a changing of age, uh, changing of gender, uh, changing of uh, personal info, and uh, it's, it's a dynamic process uh, when uh, the person reacts on, on the communication, on the information from, from the child. 
Uh, Cyber Silent uh, can also use uh, multiple uh, identities, for example, on multiple social networks. We have uh, some some cases uh, uh, when or where the Silent use it uh, to communicate with with uh, with children. The next problem uh, connected with the stage one uh, could be also false authority. Uh, the silent can pretend to be a representative from a prominent and powerful uh, company, for example, Vodafone, Adidas, Apple, Google, Microsoft, uh, that will benefit the victim, uh, such as uh, donating a computer, uh, money, donating a mobile phone, a credit, uh, etc. Uh, they then contact the potential victims uh, on uh, behalf of the company and obtain personal data from them. Uh, the authority uh, thought fictionist uh, gives a certain uh, credibility to the information communicated. Next stage is about uh, contact with the victim and uh, building a relationship uh, between uh, offender and the victim. Uh, there are some types of manipulation, for example, mirroring, uh, trying to uh, uh, get as much personal information as possible about the victim. It's a combination of phishing and uh, new forms of uh, wheedling personal data from the victim. Uh, profiling the victim, so uh, special profiles uh, where the offender has information about, for example, age, uh, gender, uh, favorite music, favorite clothes, uh, favorite computer games, uh, and uh, uh, ho ho pets, uh, uh, information about family, about about uh, 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 about the child. Uh, next, next uh, type of manipulation is, for example, luring and bribing the victim. Lowering the victim's uh, scruples by introducing sexual content into the conversation. And for example, efforts to isolate the victim from uh, their friends and family. Uh, the strategy of uh, luring uh, through a photo of the opposite sex and uh, using of uh, uh, webcam trolling, fake uh, webcam and fake uh, streaming or fake uh, uh, web chat uh, between uh, offender and the, uh, the victim. And now we will describe uh, techniques which are used for manipulation in a process of cyber grooming. First is uh, mirroring. Uh, mirroring uh, it's a kind of manipulation where the attacker communicates mirror imitating child communication. Uh, for example, uh, in a chat. Uh, the reason is to inspire a trust or interest of a child. So, uh, for example, we have a situation. Hello, where are you from? I'm from Prague. Yeah, I'm from Prague too. Smile. Do you have any pet? I have a dog. Incredible, me too. I have a dog too. Smile. So, you see, a simple, a simple question and uh, mirroring of information uh, which the attacker obtained uh, from the child. So it's mirroring. Next part or next technique is about phishing. So it's uh, trying to get as much personal information as possible about the victim. Uh, there are also some, some uh, questions and answers which are used for, for uh, obtain or for, for harvesting uh, the information from a child. Uh, for example, I want to send you a funny video. Can you give me your email? Vanessa gmail.com. You see, simple question and the answer is personal information. I will send you a special ringtone. Can you give me your phone number? And you see a phone number. So this is phishing. It's a kind of phishing which is used in the process of cyber grooming. Uh, third part is profiling the victim. The problem is that uh, one attacker obviously uh, communicates uh, with many children together. So it's necessary for him to have some system, some, some database of personal info about uh, children. So, for example, in this database you can find the name of child, email, phone number, uh, Facebook nick, uh, Instagram link or, or city, uh, age, pet, favorite color, uh, favorite uh, musician, uh, friends from schools and other information which are used for manipulation of a, of a child in a, a cyber grooming process. Next part is uh, luring and bribing. Uh, 
the attacker offers gifts in exchange for photos, videos and other personal information because it's important for attacker to have some uh, really intimate or, or some uh, really personal uh, info from the child, especially a photo of, of face or a photo of uh, nude uh, body because this kind of materials could be used for blackmailing. So the technique uh, uh, is described uh, in this situation. Uh, I'm working for Apple and I have 10 iPads for free. Uh, send me your real photo and I will send you one iPad. Uh, you see uh, the, the luring. Uh, I give you iPad and uh, you give me a fo photo. And as you see in example, a uh, user is sending you, uh, you a file with a, a photo of face. Uh, the offender knows the real identity. If the, the children send he, uh, his or her uh, real photo, uh, so the offender knows the real identity of the child and uh, the photo uh, can be used for blackmailing in later phases. Next part is about sexual content. Uh, the, the name of, of this manipulation or, or this technique is uh, uh, lowering the victim's scruples by it introducing sexual content into the conversation. Uh, the, the principle is simple. Uh, the more sexual content, less shy. Uh, uh, and you see it in a situation, uh, for example, I found a video with oh, something interesting, but it's quite dirty. Look as, at this. And you see there is a file with a kind of, uh, of uh, porn or pornographic content. And the child responds, I'm ashamed, but if you repeat it more, more uh, often and if you send more uh, these videos, so uh, there will be uh, less shy uh, and the child will communicate with uh, attacker about uh, sexuality in, in uh, later uh, phases. So uh, this is about lowering the victim's scruples by introducing sexual content into the conversation. Number six, uh, six is uh, efforts to uh, isolate the victim from their friends or family. Uh, I will demonstrate it on this situation. Uh, for example, uh, the attacker uh, is, is writing, mm, our relationship will be secret, yes? Okay, it will be our secret. Don't talk about it with your parents. They would not understand it. They would ban your internet. Uh, and the stranger is isolating child from parents. Don't say it or don't talk with parents about our conversation or there will be some result. For example, ban of internet, uh, ban of social networks and other, other uh, potentially bad reaction from the parents. So it's a kind of uh, uh, psychical isolation. So it's important to, uh, to have all conversation in a secret. Next part is uh, a special kind of strategy uh, which uh, uh, works very good uh, with, with boys. So the strategy applies especially to boys. Uh, it's a kind uh, of a process, so I will start with number one. Uh, the attacker creates a fake profile of girl. You see uh, the, the girl with, with a notebook on the screen, so it's a fake profile. The girl contacts the boy, for example, on Facebook and uh, tells him that she likes him. So she starts to, to build some relationship or, or some love or something like virtual love. So, so uh, the boy reacts, the uh, boy is happy, he starts to uh, uh, communicate with her. And they are chatting, they, they are sh sharing normal information, normal text information. But after time, girl offers boy her own nude photo, but it's fake. It's not real, a real uh, photo of, of attacker, but it's it's a fake photo uh, of of, uh, 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 of, a, of a child of a girl, and uh, the boy responds and sends his own nude photo. Uh, it's it's reaction. If uh, I, as a girl, uh, s send someone my my nude photo, so uh, the boy will send me back his 
a nude photo. So it's example how to manipulate uh, with, with boys on internet. So uh, fake profiles, uh, uh, children laugh, uh, uh, girls which are uh, sharing their own intimate materials. So this is a strategy of luring through photo of the op op opposite uh, sex. And next part is webcam trolling. We talk about webcam, webcam trolling in uh, in lessons before, so I try to describe a process of uh, webcam trolling and uh, uh, making a virtual web webcam. Uh, so uh, the attacker uses virtual webcam software with video loops uh, of young people. Uh, for example, I, I want to communicate with uh, a boy through webcam, so uh, I will install uh, a special software for my uh, webcam, uh, which uh, is used for uploading own uh, video loops. So the boy will not see my my image, but the boy will see uh, loops, video loops, which I which I download from the internet to my computer. So uh, as you see on a picture, the attacker is streaming fake movie with girl boy to his webcam without sound. It's important uh, to share it without sound because uh, if uh, the, the boy uh, want uh, to identify if I'm a real person, uh, he can ask me. But if I write that my microphone is not working, so uh, it's not so simple to identify the real uh, identity of a person uh, which I'm communicating with. So, the attacker is streaming fake movie with girl boy to his webcam and boy is streaming real image and sees a fake image from a webcam. And uh, I can, for example, record everything from a uh, webcam of a boy. I can use it in later phases for blackmailing. So uh, this is this is webcam trolling. It's used for cyberbullying. It's used in a, in a sexting and it's also uh, used in a, in a cyber grooming uh, process. Next part is uh, preparing for meeting in person. Uh, the silent uh, uses a variety of manipulate uh, techniques. For example, the technique of uh, our coming, uh, the age difference between the silent and the victim, and for example, uh, th uh, threatening and blackmailing the uh, victim. There is a special type of, of blackmailing. It's called uh, sextortion or sexual extortion. Uh, combination of, of this word sextortion and it's a kind of, of uh, blackmailing or extortion when we are using the sexual content uh, to, to uh, attack uh, on, on the child uh, when we want uh, more sexual content or uh, we want to manipulate the child to, uh, to going with us to the, to the personal meeting in real life. And the, far, and, and the last stage uh, for is a, is a meeting in person. Uh, at uh, this stage, a meeting in person uh, was, was held. Uh, the victim is not uh, necessarily assaulted during the first meeting. So the assault uh, couldn't be uh, on, on the first, first time, on the first meeting with, with the child. Uh, but uh, if you look on the stage, uh, there is uh, or, or there is a continu uh, continuing of manipulation and uh, assault uh, of, of the victim, sexual, physical assault. Other features. Uh, the special special feature connected with with uh, this problem of of uh, uh, cyber grooming is uh, creating networks of predators. Uh, cyber silence often uh, uh, unite uh, in uh, networks uh, that communicate across uh, states and the continents. Uh, within these networks, uh, they exchange information about minors. Uh, they create a database of, of potential victims. And there are cases in which uh, cyber silence have kidnapped an underage uh, victim uh, by the order of an asylum from another country. So it's, it's also connected with, with uh, this uh, phenomenon. Now uh, we will describe some cases. So uh, these cases are model cases uh, connected with cyber grooming or sexual assaults uh, on, on, a, on a children or a child. 
The first case is a Peter Chapman from United Kingdom, uh, 2010. In uh, 2010, uh, Peter Chapman uh, was sentenced uh, to, to life for rape and murder. murder. Uh, what's happened? Ashley Hall, a nursing student, uh, you, you see Ashley on, on, the, on the photo on the, on the uh, right uh, bottom uh, corner. So Ashley Hall, a nursing student, met a 16 years uh, old boy on Facebook. After having conversations for a long time, uh, they arranged to meet in person. After the meeting, she didn't return home. Uh, 32-year-old uh, Peter Chapman, previously convicted of sexual offenses, uh, confessed to killing her. He raped and strangled the girl, and uh, after the case was published, other girls Chapman uh, communicated with uh, began to contact the police. Uh, Peter Chapman, he used a fake profile. Uh, this is a fake profile of Peter Chapman. You see DJ Pete on the screen, a 70 years old boy, but, but it was his, his fake profile. If you look on the profile, you see young, young man uh, and a lot of, lot of sexting uh, photos, but it's fake. So uh, there's difference in, in a face we told before uh, that uh, I, I, I will go back uh, on the screen you see the real face, uh, the top right corner, and uh, this is fake face, yeah, fake, from fake profile of a Chapman. So what you see uh, in the social networks, it's it's not the same F, uh, as it's in uh, real. So there are many fake profiles on the Facebook and on other uh, other social networks. Uh, this is example of, of a photo from the fake profile uh, of Peter Chapman. Uh, after uh, the case was published uh, in uh, mass media, uh, many other other people uh, contacted media that uh, they also uh, communicate with, with Chapman. He uh, doesn't focus uh, just on, on teenagers, but also on uh, the adult uh, persons, on, on uh, young girls. So you see examples of, of uh, uh, Chapman potential uh, victims. Next case is a case of Michael Wheeler from United Kingdom, uh, 2003. In 2003, uh, Michael uh, Wheeler confessed to uh, 11 sexual assaults on uh, under underage girls. Two of uh, uh, those being raped. He was sentenced uh, to three years imprisonment and uh, Wheeler used uh, public chat to meet the girls and in the chat he made contact uh, with one of the later abused girls uh, at the time uh, she was 11 years old. He uh, gradually mani manipulated her, uh, discuss discussed uh, sensitive questions uh, with her and after her 13th birthday he started to uh, sexually abuse or harass uh, her. Uh, had a girl uh, been abused before uh, her 13th birthday, he would uh, have uh, been facing imprisonment for life. So you see difference between between three years of imprisonment and in imprisonment for life. So this is example uh, of the situation uh, when the predator is waiting uh, for the right age of a child. Uh, uh, Next case, it's a case of Douglas Linsell from United Kingdom 2003. And Douglas, uh, he, was, he was sentenced for five years for uh, sexual harassment of uh, several girls and for attempt uh, rape. Uh, former uh, post, postmaster, he was a uh, postmaster before, Douglas Linsell, uh, fished for sympathy from girls by, for example, claiming he had cancer. He kept a database of girls he met online, uh, planned to uh, meet with them in person and uh, rape them. He sent photos of himself in nude uh, to some of them or forced them uh, to, for example, expose uh, themselves. He even uh, made two girls, aged 13 and 14, to meet him in person. 
uh, and he attempt to lure one of them into his car and rape her, but uh, but uh, uh, it was just a, 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 a temptation, so so he was uh, sentenced uh, for fa- five years to prison. Uh, the most important case from the Czech Republic is a case uh, Piškot Ameluzin in Czech. If you translate it, it's uh, Cake and Holler. Uh, these are nicknames or nicks uh, of uh, two homosexual uh, scouts leaders, Martin Mertel and uh, Milan Machat. Uh, these people created a profile, a fake profile of a girl on, on a Facebook and uh, uh, Using this profile, they established contact with a 12-year-old heterosexual boy uh, who was attending uh, their scouts troop. So they uh, they know together in in a real world, but the boy doesn't know that uh, they are uh, they are uh, in in the profile of of a girl. Our time, they were texting the boy that uh, they uh, like him and soon they established a relationship. The boy, after a while, wanted to meet the girl, but uh, had to provide a proof of love, a naked photo of himself and a photo of uh, homosexual sex. The problem was that the boy doesn't know what to do, so so he contact uh, uh, scout leaders uh, and ask for help. The scouts uh, leaders agreed to help him, and uh, they had a sex with the boy and took photos during the act. And these photos, the boy uploaded uh, to to Facebook to to the fake profile of girl. And uh, the girl blackmailed the boy with the photos, and uh, the problem uh, was repeating together, together, and and uh, uh, the the boy was uh, continuously and repeatedly um, raped. After uh, seeing uh, the movie, uh, meet uh, new people safely. It's in in, in English, in Czech. It's says uh, bezpečně. The boy reported the uh, whole thing uh, to to uh, sister and to to parents and to police. Uh, the case was uh, undercovered, and according to the uh, prosecution, the scouts leaders from Usti nad Labem abused. A total of 39 children, 36 boys and 3 girls. In November 2013, uh, they were sentenced uh, to 10 years in prison. Uh, if we look uh, on, on the screen, you see that uh, uh, there was anal intercourse, uh, oral intercourse, uh, video recording, nude body picture taking and another, another practice. They threatened the boy with sending his uh, photographs to to all of uh, his friends and classmates if he didn't cooperate. Um, out of fear, the boy obeyed uh, their every uh, command. And uh, uh, now you see, see see the photos of uh, Melusine. It's it's the boy in in a white on the screen or. On the on the right uh, right uh, sa- side of uh, the screen, it's a uh, it's uh, Melusine. Prevention. The most important is prevention. So to keep your child from being abused, prevention plays a b- really a big part. Uh, the child uh, should know uh, what dangers uh, come from communicating with strangers on the internet. Uh, how dangerous it's to share. Uh, their personal information with someone to uh, or to publish photos of themselves and uh, how risky it can be uh, to meet a stranger uh, in in a person so uh, there are some rules for children it's it's longer but but i try to to read it for you uh, first uh, don't be fooled by promises from virtual silence uh, they can promise your love uh, uh, continuing relationship in real world money presence remember uh, people on the internet can lie 
uh, notice discrepancies in communication with cyber silence. For example, uh, they give you different age. One day there are 15, uh, second day there are 13. Yeah, so there are some differences. Uh, they uh, often change the information about uh, yourselves because they are communicating with many children together. So, so uh, notice discrepancies in communications. Think about why someone would uh, want to keep an internet relationship or the content of your conversation secret at, at all costs. Uh, set up your personal boundaries uh, when it comes to sex. Uh, do not accept uh, from or send to other users materials of, of uh, sexual nature. Uh, don't share any of your personal or intimate information with anyone in the virtual world. So uh, if you share, for example, nude photos, uh, they could be used for, for blackmailing, for extortion or sextortion. Yeah? Never meet a stranger from the internet in person without telling your parents. Think about uh, what can happen at uh, such a meeting and how risky the meeting can be. Be careful about uh, who you talk to and about what. Internet communication uh, may seem anonymous, but it's not. Uh, you don't want to, uh, your internet friend to, to find you in real life or force, force you to, to do something you don't want to do. Do you? Yeah? And we have also some rules for, for uh, parents. The first is uh, uh, talk to your children about uh, what uh, they do on the internet. Remember... Uh, that uh, your child may be sitting in the safety of your home, but uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, uh, they are safe. Yeah, keep the computer uh, at a commonly shared space. For example, in the living room uh, where you can randomly check uh, on on them. If you have a young young child, it doesn't work. If you have, for example, 17, 17 years old um, person or uh, child, no. Explain uh, to your children what the dangers of uh, the, the internet may pose and uh, if your child uh, gets in trouble regarding cyber grooming, uh, don't, uh, don't use the useless uh, method of uh, forbidding them to use the computer and, and the internet. Uh, remember that uh, when you forbid uh, your child to use a computer and the internet at home, they will find another way how to get to them at, at their friends in school uh, using their mobile phone uh, etc for uh, luring a child to meet in person for example in the online environment the offender faces uh, two years in prison uh, punishment of uh, the same extent uh, waits for those who will take part in a pornographic performance that uh, includes the child. So we, has the, we have this special uh, type of, of uh, new criminal offenses, but we have also a law uh, connected with child pornography, with, with raping, with blackmailing, uh, with, with stalking and uh, other crimes. That's all for now. Thank you for your attention and uh, we will see together in our lessons uh, about uh, safer using of internet. Goodbye.